Hello guys, I'm Slappies and I'm gonna do a short tutorial on the basic controls for the, ba for the Xbox controller, the Xbox 360 controller in uh, Snow, the game, since I don't know if there actually is somewhere you can read about the controls, I don't think it is, so I'll just go through the basic controls so you might get an idea of how to use the controller because I had a real struggle when I started playing this game. I had no idea what to press actually. So basically to jump you press the A button and you can hold it. If you hold it for like one second you get a higher only. And if you use your left analog at the same time and press it at the side when you go up for a jump you get an increased spin. And we got a butter as well. You can do that with Y, like this. You can also butter into a jump, but I'm really bad at it, so I would probably fail this time. But like this, and yeah, you get the idea. I'm terrible at it. Okay. You can also break, slow down your speed with the B button. If you hold it, you will break. Okay. So we'll go through some railing controls. There's not much to to explain actually. You just go up on the rail and you can do a tail press and you can do a nose press depending on which way you use your your um, right analog. If you press it up you're gonna do the nose press. If you press it backwards you're gonna do the tail press. So that was the rail. Let's see more. Yeah. You see me speeding up like this? Increasing my speed. That's the X button. So to get more speed, just hold that button and you will use your staves to get some extra speed. Like this. Just hold it. You can also use it when you're going from behind. But you will only like hunker down a little bit to get some more speed. Uh, you saw me do a flip there. You control the movement of your body with the left analog by doing tricks. And uh, you can use the right and left bumper for grabs. And uh, use the direction of the analog to choose which type of grab you're gonna play. You can also use the analogs in different directions, like in an arc, to get screws, corkscrews, etc. I did not do it there, so... But, that's the idea for it. Okay, let's see here. A, and backwards. Backflip. I'm gonna go through the controls I'm using in every trick I do here. At the moment, I'm holding B to break and stay stationary at this place, so I don't move. And uh, I'm gonna speed up using the X button, the blue one. And I'm gonna speed up for this trick. I'm gonna load with A, and use my left analog to the left to get increased spin. And uh, got a 900. And we're gonna shift with Y to go forward in this one. And we're gonna do a backflip. Gonna hold A, load the jump, and press backwards with the... We can do the same for front flip. Just press the other direction with the left on and We got... Gonna do the Lincoln's flip here. Jump and press the left. I'm holding the right... Right button, the one... Just in front of the trigger. This is the left one, you just choose direction with it. You can also combinate that one with the bumpers and you can do some awesome stuff. That's nothing special, but unless. Yeah, we got the bumpers as well. That's for the grabs. We got. If you just hold it, you're gonna do a safety grab without using the left analog. And if we use the analog as well, 
we can choose which type of grab we're going to do. And it's got a lot of grabs. You can... I think you can tweak it as well if you rotate the trigger. There we go. There we tweak that one a little bit. And we're gonna do... No scrap here. I'm gonna do both. I'm holding both triggers and pressing forward with the right angle. And you just have to try your try for and play around with the controls a little bit. You will notice things that I haven't brought up yet, but that's the basic controls. Oh yeah, we got the the D-pad as well. I don't know, is it called D-pad? Oh well, whatever. Uh, if you press right, you can choose the time of the day. You can go night, you can go morning, you can go yeah, whatever you like. And uh, Oh, I, I get a visual bug here, and actually, I think I put on my flashlight here. It shouldn't lose the hat, but that's just a glitch. If you press left on the D-pad, you will activate your flashlight, and hopefully it will not glitch for you. And if you press upwards, you're gonna go into first person view, which is really hard to play with, but it's kinda intense, I'm gonna show you. How it looks. It looks kind of good actually, but it's really hard to play with it. Yeah, you can see. Uh, we can also put respawn flags down. If you press backwards with the D-pad or down, we're gonna put out a flag, and we can use that one to respawn at that location. Right here where I put it. So. That's pretty much the basics of the controls. I hope you liked it. I will do a quick session and show you guys what you can do with the controls in a bit. So there are varieties of tricks. And yeah. Please subscribe and uh, like the video if you liked it. If, or if it was helpful. Thanks for watching.